So what does a joiner do exactly? Well, a joiner joins together pieces of wood. And one of the most basic joints that you find throughout uh, both framing work and uh, architectural woodwork is the mortise and tenon joint. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate the cutting of a mortise and tenon joint. So the first step is to lay out the stock. Use a series of different what are called gauges to do that. I'm going to set the depth so I come all the way around. And that's the depth of our joint right there. So the next step is going to be to lay out the tenon itself, which is this male portion of the joint. And again, you're using a special scribe or gauge to do it. This is called a mortise gauge. You'll notice that it has two pins that lay out each side of that tenon. Now the last thing I'm going to mark out is a little bit of a shoulder that's going to be on that so that that tenon is not all the way flush to the edge of the board. So that's the layout for the tenon. Now, I'm going to lay out the mortise too at the same time before I do any cutting. Again, I use the same mortise gauge. This is a mortise chisel, uh, specially made for doing mortising work. It's a really broad, heavy-duty chisel. It can really, really stand a lot of heavy work. So you can see that I've got a start on the mortise on this side. So now I'm going to flip it over and work from the other side. And remember that this has to come all the way through. You can get some idea of how time consuming this sort of work really is. The next step is going to be to cut the tenon, which is the male portion of the joint. And that gets done with a special kind of saw called a tenon saw. So the next step would be wedging the joint. Tremendous amount of work when you're walking around the house. Just look at all that woodwork and just think about how much work, time, all of it required to, to produce. It's really quite remarkable. Okay, the final step is going to be to pin the joint. Drive the pin in. And that's it. So that's the mortise and tenon joint.